Hey everybody, it's Duke over here at Holiday World of Katy. And we're going to take a look at another uh, RV. This is the 3855BR. I think BR is for the bonus room. It's got a mid uh, office bunk room that I'll show you here in just a little bit. Look at the outside first, some of the key features on the outside, then we'll take a look at the inside. Now this one has the frameless windows that you can see right there. That's what you'll see on high-end luxury RV. So we're going to take a look at it. And uh, thanks for coming along. I'm your video host today. So here is your uh, dry weight. That's 13,980 pounds dry weight. Uh, it'll hold some cargo and you could get a, a gross vehicle weight of 16,900 pounds, but that's 13,980 pounds of RV luxury. And right here, we, while I'm here, we're going to take a look at this electronic leveling system. You can see the kingpin right here from when you are operating the controls to raise it and lower it. There is the uh, 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 information on that. So while we're talking about the uh, leveling system, let's go ahead and take a look up in here in the front. Sorry about the camera work. It is a hydraulic system. That's what you find in a high-end RV. Uh, so that controls your slides and your uh leveling and your, your uh stabilizers or actually they will raise and lower the rv with those so that's a very nice system so we're going to keep moving along looking at this montana that's the water heater right there this one has the uh the uh road armor suspension with three inches of play three inches up and down so that's a total of six inches that reduces wear on your rig uh, there are some beautiful alloy wheels. Just take a look at the back of it here. It's prepped for a camera back here. You can see that right there. You see those windows open outward from the bottom. This one does have a trailer hitch on it with a four pin connector. So uh, there's the stats on what it'll pull. But you, typically it's a small trailer. Uh, some of them don't do that. But this one, I, I believe you pull a small trailer like a motorcycle trailer or something like that. Got that ladder with those arms that kind of go up over so when you're getting on the roof it's not so precarious if you want to get up there and do some of your own maintenance it is a walkable roof and you see it's got the uh, frameless windows a couple of uh, awning awnings on this side over here here's a slide out right here where you've got your dinette and your uh, theater seats this one has the solid step but we're going to skip by that right now and take a look at some of this storage over here. I'm going to open this up. If you can see this, over there on that other side, that blue box is a solar charge controller. The larger box right there, that's a uh, uh, inverter. So you have inverted outlets. You can run solar and power your fridge, some of those inverted outlets if you're not plugged in. So that is definitely high tech in terms of uh, solar power those red and blue that's uh, PEX plumbing was, won't burst up until negative 10 degrees or down to negative 10 degrees you see it's got the uh, inverter prep I don't know if you can read that and see that vent right there that's coming out of your heater duct it keeps your uh, storage area down here warm so it keeps it from freezing keeps your plumbing warmer uh, it's vented all the way through here with uh, the heater duct running alongside this PEX plumbing you can see it's got a uh, double welded aluminum these they're, they're welded on each side you've got a vapor barrier up here yeah, so it's high-end construction that's what you're getting with Montana it's the reason it's the number one selling luxury fifth wheel for 20 years straight you, you could talk to RV salespeople all sorry about the camera work all around the country and they're gonna tell you their RV is their fifth wheels as good as a Montana I'm the only one who can tell you that and be telling the truth because this is a Montana it is definitely as good as Montana it's got a stainless steel sink out here in this uh, outdoor kitchen a little small fridge and it's got a uh, this is a two-handed job there it is look at that cooktop you've got a two burner cooktop so you can uh, hang out here do some grilling you can you've got a place to plug in right here there is a plug and TV hookup so if you want to hook up a TV out here you can even put one on the arm there and hang out do some grilling up underneath your awning or listening to your stereo speakers you can enjoy the RV lifestyle so moving along we're gonna look at this uh, 
step above. It's a solid step uh, that makes contact with the ground. It's a very solid platform for entering and exiting the recreational vehicle. You have a grab handle here. This will keep you uh, much more stable as you go in and out. You don't want to ruin your trip, ruin your day. Uh, if you have a fall, that's the Solar Flex 400i. That means there's two 200 watt solar panels up on the roof and there's an, a solar inverter. We're looking at the 3855BR. I'm Duke over here at Holiday World in Katy. Hey, thanks for coming along. I'm your video host. I'm happy to have you as my guest here. All right, I'll use my indoor voice now. So I'm going to come back to this rear living area. We're going to start in this little bonus room here. This, See, it's got a... This is one of the chairs you could put at your uh, dinette, but you could put an office chair in here. It's got an office if you're working on the road. This is a trifold sofa that makes into a bed. So it depends on whatever you're doing. You got a music studio, you got a job, your accountant, uh, whatever it is. If you need to work out on the road and want to live the American dream, the RV lifestyle, live pure luxury, the luxury RV lifestyle, this one will work. Look at those residential hinges, high quality hardware. Look at these nice uh, inserts, glass inserts here. So this is a high quality RV. As a matter of fact, it's rated by the factory for full time use. There's only a few of these that are designated like that. And this is one of them uh, in the industry. So it, uh, the manufacturer stands behind this one and designates it for full time use. So if you're gonna be going long term, living in your RV, this would be a good choice. This one has these little uh, sliding kind of barn style doors right there. And there's some storage up tall, ideal for tall people. This particular rig has three AC units. So the screens are down to reduce the glare. So there's the dinette. There's a total of four chairs, and you've got those theater seats right there. That's the Thomas Paine collection. It's very comfortable. And you also have a triple wide sofa in the back that makes it into a king size bed. Just look at that decor. Get that ceiling fan, those nice lighting fixtures that Thomas Edison would be very proud of. Accent lighting along the top there. And uh, so, one thing about these valances right here, if you put down your privacy shade that's also got a reflective quality on the back to keep the heat out, uh, it will completely black it out. And also, you'll be walking by at night, they're not going to be able to peek through as they walk by and see what's going on. It's just a little bit more comfort as you're uh, enjoying the uh, beautiful lifestyle here in your RV. You might be sitting in front of your electric fireplace listening to your JBL sound system with a JBL subwoofer. You might want some bass in there and you've got a big screen TV storage up above the TV uh, so I'll go ahead and open that up. You can see I don't know what you're gonna put up there, but you've got stuff you could put it up there you got more storage up there. This has a very quiet AC system. That's part of the luxury uh, You can watch a golf game in this one and still be able to hear it without having to put on the closed captions If you notice that light came on automatically uh, Huge pantry And that's a big deal if you never had an RV never lived in an RV you don't want to get going and start going places and figure out, man, we don't have enough pantry space. you got to bring some food. Well, this is a full-size pantry. So, yeah, I'm a, uh, uh, some people don't understand why I would show that, but it's a big deal, folks. That's why all this storage is, is very important, hugely important. you got some storage down there. You've got drawers because you're going to have pots, pans. you got a stainless steel sink, and this is designed very well. It's a large sink on this side. You can put pans in here, a small one here. So you could put the little covers here for extra counter space. You do have some counter space here, but uh, it, it is, uh, you could also put a leaf on here if you wanted to. Uh, it's got a, a nice residential gooseneck uh, faucet right there. You got a residential fridge. Now, the nice thing about this residential fridge is you could power it with solar as you're going down the road. Or let's say you're staying somewhere, the power goes out. Well, you're not going to lose all your groceries. Just you got 400 watts of solar up on the roof. 
it'll be doing its job keep your refrigerator going you know one thing you want to notice on this it's a big deal if you don't like stubbing your toe this is flush here there's no uh, lip there that you're going to be hitting your toe because a lot of these when you're standing at the stove you have to stay a couple of about four or five or six inches away because there's a lip and it's just very as you're leaning over it's a drag so this is very well designed you've got usb and 110 this little uh outlet here will you can make it flush you can put a coffee pot over there instant pot so uh yeah this is a living area so let me let you just have a view of it sitting from this sofa get your office over there come out here take a break we got the window at the woods or the mountains whatever you got it's your backyard at that day as you're maybe traveling around america you get that beautiful motif there on your lighting nice decor it's a quality rv it's got solid wood in the uh cabinetry there's a huge difference in the way these rvs are built this one has a solid piece of flooring all the way underneath this linoleum all the way up from here to the stairwell there's no tongue and grooves there's no joints they're going to start creaking buckling you don't have to worry about that all right so we're going to move along i was just kind of enjoying this rv right here so you got a couple of remotes so you can run the front and back one and then use this as an auxiliary ac in the middle and it's got a whisper quiet style system they've really made some advancements on that with this blade ac you've got dimmers on these lights right here i can show you that but you know how a dimmer works and this is not carpet here so if you got a little poodle or a chihuahua you don't have to worry they seem to be attracted to carpet that is a synthetic material uh, that will not uh, attract them you want them to go outside you got a nice screen right there and uh, something else that this one has is a uh, okay I was looking for the controls for the ceiling fan they're over somewhere else okay I'm not even going to edit that out there is your control center right there those high quality hinges and then right here Get a place to hang up your coat right as you walk in the door. So that's very convenient. So we're going to go up the stairs. I'm going to regain my composure. Look at that huge window in the hallway. But before we look at the window, there's a stairwell that comes out. And look at this. Here's a surprise. Got a loft here. So you can have an, somebody else that sleeps up here. You could use this for storage. Uh, I got some customers using it. They're, they keep their... Uh, Cardi and Welsh Corgis up there, they like it. They just close this off and they'll put them up there at night. And uh, they got the run of the trailer during the day. So you've got a screen down here, but it's a huge window. Windows are really a big deal. When you're when you're living in an RV, you got a lot of windows. It can be depressing if you live in a little box with no windows. That's not what you want. You've got a well-positioned toilet, lots of hip and leg room. Look at that, you got a heater vent to keep you warm while you're sitting there, keep you warm in all the right places. Got lots of storage, it's well thought out. It lights up when you open that, you see that? That's what I'm talking about. Little things are a big deal. And there's lots of storage, there's a cubby storage here. You got a shower you can sit down in, nice shower head. You've got a skylight, you can see what's going on in the sky as you're taking a shower. Just as relaxing, it's luxury. You've got that clear glass shower door for the uninhibited bather. And look at this porcelain bowl. This is a large porcelain bowl. So when you're washing your face, it's very ergonomic in terms of not splashing water over the place, all over the place. You have to lean down so far it doesn't take up storage space below there. And look at that Pex plumbing. Got three drawers there. You can't have too much storage. Got some auxiliary storage there. That's your medicine cabinet. You got lighting there that was not on yet and here is the control for the max air fan right there which is located right there it's rain sensitive that is a very nice fan that's not what they put in the cheap rvs you got a nice mirror there you make sure you're ready to go out do your daily affirmations make sure you're in a good mood you're not stressed out all right so let's look at the bedroom first thing you notice you walk in it's got a framed in tv there's a chest of drawers here. Still got these valances for privacy and blacking everything out. Uh, we got the windows closed. 
or the blinds closed over there but you can see that there's windows all around there if you want to open them up and get a view as you enjoy the day these uh, quiet AC vents here patented by uh, Keystone Corporation the blade system you've got a uh, tray on each side with the USB and 110 where you could hook up a CPAP machine you can walk around your king-size bed right here and get on with no problem let's take a look in this closet on this side look at that you got a table right there there's a plug there if you wanted to plug in a machine or anything lots of storage so we're gonna open this from the other side now this has got full mirrors here it kind of opens it up in addition to all these windows so you just don't feel claustrophobic in here that's a very well designed RV and it's got a real filter in the AC it's not some little screen that you wash out in the shower uh, look at all that storage you got a laundry hamper right here this literally has all the comforts of home may have more comforts than you have in your home right now let's see turn on the lights see what's going on you got a place to put your shoes your hats all your extensive wardrobe collection there's the extra chair that goes in that dinette this is also a place you can put a RV washer and dryer you could use it for closet space you can see it's it's vented here hey thanks for coming along on this uh, look at this uh, 3855 BR Montana I'm Duke my phone number is 281-467-0659 if you watch this all the way to the end go ahead and click the thumbs up button I'll appreciate it It'll boost my ego a little bit my fragile ego and uh, I'll be happy to hear from you be happy to help you with this RV or any other ones if you're interested you can't get a better value than the Keystone Montana if it fits the job you want to do with it the lifestyle you want to live I'll be happy to welcome you into the RV lifestyle or we take in trades I'll go through a complete list of all the items on yours and you can tell me about it you could send me pictures tell me if anything's been replaced if you give me a, if you answer all my questions on that correctly or honestly and openly I will give you a number that'll hold up when you get here so when you get here we'll already know what the sale price the trade-in price the we can get the financing worked out there'll be it just be a formality as far as signing papers we'll do a walkthrough of this RV I will be involved in that but we have our service staff that's trained to do that and I will uh, be happy to add my two cents in before you leave I'll be your host here because I'll make a reservation for you in our campground we have 18 full hookups with water sewer and electric and you do a little shakedown period where you can uh, check it out for a few days do some urban camping in the Houston Texas area and any adjustments or concerns we will address them before you leave it's a great way to start out your ownership experience you can see there is a little uh, thing here to activate your 4G LTE and Wi-Fi that's a uh, digital TV it's got that uh, Weingart Air 360 up on the roof it's got three air conditioners those are Coleman Mach ACs it's got those two 200 watt solar panels there's a lot more about this RV that I didn't tell you I'm just trying to give you a nice overview and let you see this floor plan the thing about this floor plan that's nice this if you were looking at a something like a 295 RL rear living it would be similar to this section right here you have the dinette the theater seats the uh, sofa the entertainment the kitchen the island what this adds in the extra length here is a bonus room that you can use as an office you're probably going to need a one-ton truck for this one a dually would be dual rear wheel would be ideal we'll, we'll work with you on that we don't want to skip over that we want to make sure you have the right truck but thanks for viewing and my cell phone numbers in the description below 281-467-0659 i'm duke at holiday world of katie thank you